Welcome back to another episode of Rock Boys Football. Kirby Smart, the Georgia Bulldogs, kicking off fall camp late next week. Want to hop into a few fascinating storylines that we have for this Georgia program as you go into fall camp. And you just got to be frank about it. These storylines for this Georgia program going into fall camp, they look a lot different from a lot of other Power Four programs that we've talked about in regards to fall camp. I think there are some fascinating position battles that you're going to see play out and not necessarily for who's going to start, who's not going to start, but a little bit more of what does the rotation look like for a lot of these position groups heading into the 2024 year. Of course, we are going to predict some breakout players every single year during fall camp. You get a feeling, you kind of hear some buzz around certain players that are putting it together. You're going to predict some of those guys and then talk about one position that we want to see a little bit of depth emerge for this Georgia program. Fired up to get into it before we do it, as always. Just want to say thank you to you guys and to the Georgia fans. One, all the support you guys have shown the fellas over the offseason, whether we're talking recruiting preview in 2024, that stuff, it means the world. If you guys do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. And much more importantly, would love to hear some of your storylines for this Georgia program because what you guys throw in the comment section, that is probably what we're going to be talking about over the next couple of weeks in regards to fall camp. And without further ado, let's get into this one. I want to start with some intriguing position battles that we are going to see. And I want to start in the wide receiver room where it, the way I look at this wide receiver, room, there's going to be a lot of rotation with these guys. Now, you look at purely the wide receivers. Dominic Lovett, in my mind, is going to be the featured wide receiver. If you ask me to predict who leads Georgia in targets, who leads Georgia in catches and receiving yards, Dominic Lovett's going to be the guy I go with. I think Dylan Bell is certainly going to play a role. I think what I'm most fascinated with is all right, what wide receiver emerges as that deeper third threat for Georgia. Kirby Smart made it very clear in terms of what he did in the transfer portal. He wants a wide receiver that really can stretch defenses vertically down the field. He brings in Colby Young, more of that big-bodied ex-wide receiver that, I mean, is elite at the catch point. He brings in London Humphreys from Vanderbilt, who averaged over 20 yards per catch at Vanderbilt his freshman year, a guy that can burn vertically down the field. And you still have Arian Smith on this roster, one of the fastest players in all of college football. We feel pretty good about Dominic Lovett and Dylan Bell kind of being featured in those short intermediate route trees what wide receiver is going to emerge as that deeper third threat? I think you have three options in Colby Young, Arian Smith, and London Humphreys. I would guess a bunch of them get playing time in 2024, but who's going to be the guy that Georgia relies on consistently in the 2024 season? That's probably my biggest question mark for the wide receiver room. Now, I think the second position battle you might say, and again, georgia has been known to rotate guys in the front seven. I'm kind of excited to see what the front seven rotation looks like, but more importantly, how certain guys are getting used. I, I want to start with my guy, Jalen Walker, where the more and more I watch back George in 2023, I look back at the numbers. It just makes more sense to get Jalen Walker closer to the line of scrimmage and use him a little bit more as an edge rusher. And it's for two reasons. One, the off ball linebacker room for Georgia is, disgustingly loaded, right? Smell Munn and CJ Allen, they kind of headline it, but you have Raylan Wilson. Raylan Wilson probably starts in every single program across the country outside of this Georgia program. So you have three really good off-ball linebackers. You have a couple of freshmen that are coming in that I think play early as well, guys like Justin Williams. So I look at the off-ball linebacker room and say, we feel dang good about the depth in that linebacker room. I look at Jalen Walker and say, yeah, he can play that off-ball backer role. I, I want to see him more excuse me, rushing off the edge. You go back to the 2023 season, I think Jalen Walker was probably the best pure pass rusher that Georgia had. And so how is Jalen Walker kind of factoring in to that front seven rotation? That is certainly what I have my eyes on. I also am looking on the inside. You look at Jordan Hall and Christian Miller, guys that are going into year two, year three, respectively. Can they push the veterans like Nazir Stackhouse and Warren Brinson? And kind of how does that rotation look like? Because I look at the best version of this Georgia defensive line. It probably includes Jordan Hall, Christian Miller, kind of breaking out and being game wreckers for this Georgia program on the inside. But I think you cut it. 
Georgia is going to be very good on the inside of the defensive line. You talk about Nazir Stackhouse, Warren Brinson, Christian Miller, Jordan Hall, Jamal Jarrett. Name me a better two deep in terms of interior defensive linemen in the country than what Georgia has heading into the 2024 year. Christian Miller, I think Christian Miller might be the best out of the bunch in terms of being a game wrecker. My eyeballs are going to be on Christian Miller now. Going to the breakout players, this is a really exciting conversation where we got a lot of different guys to talk about. We mentioned Jalen Walker at that edge rusher position. The other guy I would throw into that breakout player list is Damon Wilson. Now, we know we have a dude in Mikel Williams, a guy that I think is going to be a top 20 NFL draft pick come next April, really good against the run. I think George is looking for that premier pass rusher. I think Jalen Walker certainly could be that guy I've been – Paying the Georgia fans. No, I've been banging the table for Jalen Walker pretty much since the start of this offseason. The more I watched Damon Wilson, I, this was a kid I loved out of high school. We kind of knew there was uh, some physicality that he had to develop before he was going to be a premier player for Georgia. Does he have that kind of physicality going into year two? Because you talk about Jalen Walker, Damon Wilson, they kind of just have a different level of juice coming off the edge as edge rushers. Now, are they going to play every single snap? Probably not because you have a guy in Chaz Chambliss who's going to play a lot because of what he can do against the run. But on those third and long situations, are Jalen Walker and Damon Wilson kind of emerging as those elite pass rushers that you can ask to pin their ears back and they can go impact pockets and impact quarterbacks consistently on those third and long situations? I think another guy that I'm certainly keeping my eye on is true freshman Ellis Robinson now. <laughs> excuse me, it's not going to be easy to crack the starting rotation at the cornerback spot with Julian Humphrey and Dale and Everett coming back. Ellis Robinson might have been one of the most impressive cornerbacks that we've seen come out of high school in a very long time. It sounds like he is starting to look the part within that Georgia program. If there's a true freshman that I think could potentially get on the field, it would probably be in the secondary, starting with Ellis Robinson, but I would also throw in you know, K.J. Bolden where you look at K.J. Bolden and say, Georgia's the only position on the football field that I think Georgia might be relatively thin at is safety. And I know it sounds crazy because we're talking about the best safety in the country and Malachi Starks headlining that group. But outside of that, I mean, Dan Jackson has played a solid amount of football. Is K.J. Bolden the guy that Georgia can trust to put out there as a true freshman? Because again, the safety position, that's one of the only positions that I think they're thin at. And if you have KJ Bolden emerge as a guy that Georgia can trust, I think that's a massive storyline for this Georgia program. So Ellis Robinson, KJ Bolden, two of those, you know, breakout players that I'm keeping an eye on. Now you go to the depth question marks. We talked about the safety spot. That's really on defense in the secondary. That's the only position that we might have some question marks about the depth you lose guys like Tyke Smith, Javon Bullard. Oh, we're going to back up. There's another guy I have in my notes that we didn't talk about. Joan El Aguero at the star position. I've been very vocal. I think Joan El Aguero is built to play star for this Georgia defense. And you look at how important Tyke Smith was for that Georgia defense last year. I think Joan El Aguero can come in going into year two and kind of be that guy. He's a guy that elite in man coverage against some of those bigger jumbo slot wide receivers. He's a guy that can give you run support. Very, very good in terms of the quick twitch department. This kid was born to play star when he committed to Georgia back out of high school. That's kind of where we pegged him. Can he come in as a true sophomore and kind of take over for Tyke Smith? That's another fall camp storyline that we certainly have to have our eyeballs on. And outside of that, like you look at the Georgia secondary, there is a ton of talent in that secondary, you might have some question marks about proven commodities in the two and three deep. But outside of that, you look at what makes Georgia so special. It's the depth on this roster. We say it all the time. If you want to start for Georgia, you got to be great at football because there are a lot of great football players in those position rooms. You got to earn it during fall camp. We're going to hear about guys earning it over the next couple of weeks. A lot of fun storylines for the boys to navigate. We'll keep you guys updated. Appreciate you guys rocking with the fellas. Again, would love to hear some of your big storylines in the comment section. Appreciate you guys rocking with it. If y'all do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. Appreciate you guys. We'll talk to y'all later. Peace.